In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on May 19, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Oakland Athletics vs. Houston Astros The Oakland Athletics and Houston Astros begin a three-game series in Houston over the weekend on Friday night. The A's have the worst record in baseball coming into this series while the Astros continue their push to get back to the top of the American League West standings. Oakland comes into this one at 10-35 while Houston is currently 24-19. The Athletics are 15-36 in their last 51 road games and 7-19 in their last 26 games following an off day. The Astros are 71-34 in their last 105 home games and 4-0 in their last four overall. The over is 16-5 in Athletics' last 21 road games. The under is 11-3 in Astros' last 14 games following an off day. The Athletics are 1-6 in the last seven meetings in Houston and 1-6 in the last seven meetings. The Athletics currently have the worst overall record in Major League Baseball and their third worst in terms of run line percentage. So, while we don't have a ton of head-to-head -head data to work with in this game, I still feel comfortable laying the one and a half runs with the Astros solely based on how bad Oakland has been. The current roster has faced Waldachuk in nine at bats and they're three to nine against him with two doubles and a single. They've also drawn a walk and racked up four RBI as a team. Furthermore, the Astros see a slight tick upward when facing left-handed pitchers, raising their OPS from .689 to .729. The bottom line is that these are two teams in completely different echelons. As I've said before, I'm just not in the business of backing the Oakland Athletics, and that's even more of a case here with Ken Waldachuk on the mound. The Houston Astros are hot offensively, they're at home where they're usually money, and they have a key edge on the mound with Brandon Belak. So the Houston Astros to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Astros have scored six or more runs in three straight games and averaging nearly five runs per game in the last eight while hitting .270. Waldachuk has been extremely vulnerable on the road with an earned run average of 9.12 and has given up 52 hits in only 41 innings of work. Belak has also given up a high number of hits in his three appearances with 20 hits allowed in just 13.1 innings. Oakland has allowed seven or more runs in four of its last seven losses. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Kansas City Royals vs. Chicago White Sox The Kansas City Royals travel to Chicago to take on the White Sox in an American League Central Division matchup. The Royals and White Sox are at the bottom of the American League Central standings, but both teams can still get back in the race given the slow start of most teams in the division. The Royals are 16-38 in their last 54 overall and 17-43 in their last 60 road games. Kansas City is 6-14 in their last 20 versus the American League Central. Meanwhile, the Sox are 1-6 in their last seven Friday games and the over is 15-7-1 in their last 23 at home. The over is 13-6-1 in Chicago's last 20 at home versus a right-handed starter. The White Sox have not been very strong at home and dropping their series finale to Cleveland set them back to even on their current home stand. Now, they welcome in a team that took three of four from them a little over a week ago and you are throwing one of your most home run prone pitchers at them. These two teams certainly make it hard to pick, but I do like what the Royals were able to do against a decent Padres team, and more so what they did against Chicago last time out. Two of those three wins came by seven or more runs and Kansas City outscored the Sox, 27-13, in those four games. They are 7-3 in their last 10 meetings with the White Sox. Grank hasn't been too bad lately and he should put Kansas City in a decent position. Over his last three starts combined, Grank is 1-0 with five earned on 12 hits and one walk in 15.2 innings. As for Kopech, he's been a little shaky over his last pair with 10.2 combined frames, six earned, nine hits and seven walks. Kansas City has four or more runs in three of tier last four games, so if they can keep that trend going, the Royals should be in good shape here. So the Kansas City Royals money line is our full game side pick.
The two pitchers in this game are both struggling on the season and each gives up six or more runs per game, one at home and the other on the road. They will both turn the ball over to bullpens that are in the bottom five in baseball this season. Both starting pitchers have given up a high number of hits and Kopech has surrendered 12 home runs on the season with a hard hit percentage over 50%. I expect this game to be a high scoring affair. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Dodgers vs. St. Louis Cardinals The Cardinals host the Dodgers in Game 2 of 4 on Friday, May 19th. St. Louis has turned a corner playing much better baseball. They have won 9 of their last 11 games, including a win against the Dodgers on Thursday night. Los Angeles is 4-1 in their last 5 road games and 95-42 in their last 137 games overall, while the over is 9-3 in their last 12 games against the National League Central. St. Louis is 5-1 in their last 6 games overall and 6-13 in their last 19 home games, while the over is 8-1-1 in their last 10 home games against a team with a right-handed starter. The Cardinals pitching has struggled at times this season and with Mats on the mound it could be bleak for St. Louis. The Cardinals are 2-6 when he starts this season. He also owns a 5.62 earned run average. The Dodgers will start Gonsolin, who has an earned run average of 1.42. It's a scary proposition to fade the Cardinals after the offensive explosion on Thursday, but Tony Gonsolin has been solid and really hasn't given up a whole lot this season. On the other side, I don't trust Steven Mats as far as I can throw him and I don't feel like this is a great spot for him either against a Dodgers team that's really started to find their way in the last couple of weeks against left-handed pitching. All in all, I'm looking for a fairly competitive game, but a game the Dodgers end up coming out on top in. So the Los Angeles Dodgers money line is our full game side pick. I expect crooked numbers on the board. The Dodgers scored at least six runs in three of the four meetings against the Cards, including eight on Thursday. They have averaged a solid 5.4 runs in their last 10 games, including 17 runs in three meetings against Minnesota before this series. In addition, the Cardinals' offense is hot. They collected 21 runs in three meetings with the Red Sox last weekend and a remarkable 23 runs in three games against Milwaukee this week. While Gonsolin is solid, the Dodgers' bullpen hasn't been as dominant as in past seasons, recording a 4.13 earned run average the pen gave up 10 runs in Thursday's loss. The over is 6-2 in the Cardinals' last eight home games. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.